live. Okay. Lucky last. Lucky last. Lucky last. All right. Hello, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. Mm -hmm. Okay, how are we all? Let's get that out of the way. Sorry about that. Hello, Candy. Hello, Karen. So, you may notice that I'm back, which is great. You may notice I've had a little mouse upgrade as well. <laughs> yeah, Michelle's just commented. So, Michelle, uh, sorry, Mel, that's my bad. I The mouse is it's still here, um, but I, I went and varnished it and put a top coat on, and then I dried it with the heat tool, which possibly wasn't the smartest thing to do because it shrunk and... You melted it. Yeah, I melted it, and it I can't get it to work. It, well, it still works, but it just doesn't fit on there. So, epic fail, all right? So, I just had to show that to you because it's now gone in the bin. Anyway, so, super funny, though, just the same. I don't know why I thought it wasn't going to melt. Uh, so, this is my last, my last live Facebook of the weekend as part of the great... International Craft Show. I have been having some fantastic specials over the weekend, which I hope that you have all enjoyed. I have been creating, I've been doing uh, four live Facebooks a day. This is Facebook Live number 16. Is that right? Yes. Number 16. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that right there for you to think about. Like, go me. Anyway, moving on. So, a couple of things. Um, today, until till tonight, till late tonight, you can get 20% off online for alcohol ink and 20% off for paper collections. So, what I want to do today is, um, is I want to create a scrapbook layout. But I want to use a, uh, I want to create a scrapbook layout using this, this paper pad from 49 and Market. Now, we've had this in for a little while and I think it is a massively under, it's fine Louise, it's a massively underestimated bit of paper. Um. Let me show you what is in this collector's edition set. So the pack includes the following, blah, 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 32 sheets of paper. So to start with, the cover sheet is a pattern paper. And then we have got four of each of these. So uh, they the size is six by eight, which is a fantastic size for journaling for mini albums and for cards and the paper I don't know there's no way to show you how thick this paper is other than the paper's really thick but there's four sheets of each so let me just do a quick flick through because um, I have decided that I'm going to use this on a scrapbook layout today and I'm going to do a double scrapbook layout so this is so there's four sheets of each which is great one to but it's almost like cardboard it's it's that thick it would be the best for a mini album it'd be really really awesome actually so price wise i hear you say but how much is it natalie how much is it it is it was 30 dollars. it is now down to 24 dollars because of the 20 percent off special 24 dollars uh is the reduced price and uh, for 32 sheets of paper that are super duper thick you could pretty much count them as mixed media paper but if you were a mini album guru 
which I then opened up this pack and kind of went, yeah, I really should have done a mini album. Um, it's also got two each of, I think these twos. Okay, so two each of these pieces. So these are the journaling cards and they're double-sided. These are the journaling strips. So they are kind of like your washi tape strips and they are also double-sided. Another one of, oh, that's the back cover. So the back cover has got another piece of usable paper on it. And then it also has the laser cut element sheets. Now I cracked this open before because I said to Lou, okay, so I'm now just gonna sit here and fussy cut out all of these elements, open the packet and went, oh, look, they're already cut out. They're just push outs. You just, they're already die cut. Um, so I had a little moment. <laughs> so there's that one and there's that one. See, look, I can put my finger in it. Um, and then, oh, it's just that you've got the two different designs there. So that alone, the fact that I don't have to fussy cut that and there's two of each of them. Tick that box, baby. So this is the 49 and market... Collector's Edition 6x8 Collection Pack. Love it. All right, so let's do this. Let's make a scrapbook layout. So as you can see, I was laying them out like this just so that I didn't have to shuffle through for the next 15 minutes. Um, but what I am going to do is go one up, two up, so that I can see what I've got because you can't create a scrapbook layout if you can't see what is on both sides of your papers. Now, because this, this is a six by eight pad, it's not 12 by 12. It's going to be slightly different for me to create. I'm going to need to create in, a, um, in smaller pieces and I'm going to need to make it work for me for 12 by 12. So let's just get these out. Oh, good evening, Deb and Sarah and Gaylene and Candy. Everybody's coming to play. All right, and these singles, I'm just going to go like that and like that because one side's got words on this one and then they're straight strips. So there's like your titles and your journaling. Same with this one. Um, in fact, I don't need these ones just yet. I'm going to pop them over the side with the embellishments. And I'm going to work with these. Um, the These papers are really, really nice. So because I'm going to do a double scrapbook layout, what I want to do also, this is going to be my base. I've just got some ivory cardstock. Nothing fancy, nothing special, just an ivory cardstock. And I'm going to start with putting some tape across one side. And this is actually going to be my top. So I am using a 12 mil Express Graphics double-sided tape. And that is my, my go-to. It does tear, but I'm pretty handy with a, with a craft knife. And this is the way that I like to do it. And what I want to do is I want to just create a nice base for my papers to go down on. Um, I don't want my layout to be on this ivory basil. I want, I'm just using this as uh, for sizing, really, as a foundation to, to lay on, uh, to lay on, to lay on, a foundation to uh, get my paper onto. Righty-o. Um, at this point, I now have to decide what the base of what, what the layout's going, what colour it's going to be. Um, Karen's just commenting here. I love 49 and Market, such amazing quality. Yeah, I'm a bit of a, I, I do love their quality. I do think that it is really, really nice. Um, I might go with a bit of a green base. So we'll go with green at the top 
And I might put this dark green at the bottom. I know that's a little bit bold and I'm not much of a green person normally. But I think that I could get a heap of layouts out of this paper collection, um, without a doubt. So I'm just gonna peel back my tape there, there, and there. And I'm going to put this edge to edge on the corner. Am I? Am I going to do this like this? How am I going to do this? I might go that way. Having a moment. Bear with me. You know what? Okay, I'm having I'm having another idea. I, and again, as per normal, as per normal, Natalie creating. I haven't planned this layout at all. I'm just having a little bit of a think about how I'm going to make it work. Um, I might go with. Here we go. Just commit to it. Yeah. Right, straight down, just like that. Then I'm going to pop that one there. So I need to trim this down to be that size there. Now, when I do um, layouts, I am, when I create layouts, I'm an eyeball person. I'm one of these people that goes, right, okay, how big's it got to be? Trim and cut and trust my eye. Or get a lead pencil out and mark where you need to cut it. So with my Crafters Companion little little baby guillotine which is one of my favorite tools I know that it needs to be about four cut done tick and I'm just gonna butt that right up to that edge oh, and then I stick my arm in it right so this is going to be the outside of my layout all right, I'm just going to pop that tape back on. And then I'll do the same thing. You know what? The more I procrastinate about this, the worse it's going to get, right? Because there's four pieces of this cardstock, I've also got two more of the butterflies, don't I? Let's have a look. Where did they go? Here and here. Yeah, I do, I do. Okay, there's an idea. It's just making the paper work for me. And again, I need another piece to fill that gap at four. And I'm not too concerned about these bits here just yet because I'm only just laying down the foundation. I'm laying down the base of my page. I'm just jigsawing it. Yes, I know these bits are still loose in the middle here, but I'm not too phased about that at the moment. Big picture, it's not important. I don't need to, to bust my neck trying to get all of the pieces to, getting the pieces stuck down. I might change my mind. Let's be honest, there's a fairly good chance I'll change my mind. Um, and it just means that I can go back in and tuck something. I'm not one of these people. If anyone's ever done one of my kits, they know that I like the ability to tuck things in after. And the way that I create a scrapbook page is I lay down the foundation first, and then I go back and add the embellishments later. So that's, um, the easiest way for me to create a layout. Okay, so done, done, done. And I need some more of that dark green. Which one had the dark green on the back? 
Did I totally put down the wrong bit of paper? No, I've just got butterflies left. Dark green. That one. How's everybody's Sunday going? What's everybody up to? I think Louise has got her 10,000 steps up for the day. <laughs> she definitely has got her 10,000 steps up for the day, um, picking all of your orders, which is wonderful. All right, double page, tick. So when I lay my lay them out together, I don't know if they're going to fit on screen, but you kind of get the gist of it. I've got two pages together like this. This is my base for my page. I've laid down the foundation. What I want to do now is I want to use the rest here to... Yeah, I'm all Facebooked out as well, Leslie. Um, I want to use the rest of these gorgeous papers to lay down some more colour on my page. So I have got all sorts here. Oh, look at that. See, that's super pretty. Now, let me show you something about this. I love this image here and the short image here. This will look better on this side of the page because it's got that long side there like that. All right. So let's just go with this. I'm just making this up as I go and I'm going to cut this down like that. I'm going to pop it there for the time being because I think that's where it needs to go. This piece here, there's a really nice piece from about there down so I'm going to cut that top off it. So I was saying last night when we were doing the, uh, the live Facebook that in my previous life uh, when I worked in a scrapbook shop here in Adelaide, uh, a part of my job was to uh, help customers with choosing papers for their layouts. So I used to be able to teach scrapbooking layouts one minute and then the next class I would be doing a ancestry style layout. I was able to mix things up and do, do what the customers need. So this is where I love the variety of papers that are around at the moment. I like to have the ability to be able to change my style to suit the photographs. Um, in this case, I don't actually have any photos handy, but, um, but that's okay. So I like to be able to chop and change to suit what people are after. So I really enjoy that that part of scrapbooking. Um, all right, so what I've got here, uh, at this point, I'm kind of thinking, right, these are some gorgeous key elements on here and on here. I've got this little butterfly. I can now work with these other sides of the papers. But the scrapbooking is all about the photographs. So it's also very handy for me to have an idea where these photos might go. So I've just got some photo mats here. So that's six by six by four ish. And I think it's going to need a photo about there. I've got another photo mat here. Another one that's about, yep, six by four-ish. And then I can find, I might grab a, I might trim this one down to be, most of my, most of my photos, when I'm scrapbooking, I tend to trim my photos down a fair bit. I like to get rid of all the other, you know, crap in the outside that doesn't really need to be there. Um, I am all about editing out. Editing out unnecessaries, okay? So I do find that it works really well to at least have a, a smaller photo or a smaller photo mat on the page. drink break. All right, so we're starting to build a bit of a layout now. Something like that, something like that. 
so these lovely little bits I don't throw those out they can sit in underneath it's just all about layering in some little elements um, let's pull out these journaling cards that I had here before these are fantastic I need to think about how I can use those because they're quite a bigger size so first things first is cut them up have a little read of them and look at them as an individual piece rather than a whole six by eight sheet uh, I've got live in the moment that's going to make a really nice title and think happy thoughts is also going to make a really nice title so here's the thing I really like that because I don't have any words I don't have any sentiments or anything like that to um, to like there's no title so I need to mat that on something I need to make it stand out a bit more so I'm just going to trim just a freckle off the side and on there and on there and I'm going to do the same thing with the think happy thoughts I'm only going to take a little freckle off of there I don't want to take too much off this side because it's pretty close but I need to mat it on something. So what do I mat it on? Let's have a look through my papers. This is nice, but I might just save that butterfly for something else. Um, the colors that I've got here, I want something a bit plain. Down, in, down on this side, there's some depth in this beautiful flower. I wanna make sure that I pick up the depth in there. So I could probably, I need to save some of that to be sliding into the layout. It could probably do, let's mat it on the blue. Let's not think about it. Let's just get it done. So I'm just reading, Julie's been to the movies. Oh gosh, I can't remember the last time I went to the movies. Um, well, considering, okay. I think you've had a great day, Karen. I can read your comment, but I'm not gonna read it out loud. Um, did everyone see the little printout that I, I posted up on the page so that you can leave it with your, leave it around the house for your husbands and your kids to find and your people. So if you want a voucher for Natalie May scrapbooking, then there you go. You can print it out and leave it floating around the house. Now this would have looked really nice as well if I had inked the edges of all of my papers. This is the sort of layout that would have looked fantastic in a really nice, um, a nice deep green inking around the edges. I haven't got an ink pad handy and it's time consuming to do that when you're doing a live. So I'm not doing it but it would have looked good. Right, so I've got my title elements, so they're gonna go kind of there and there. Possibly should have come into this with a little bit more of a plan, but I didn't. Okay, that really needs to go there. That's gonna go high. Did you go to a two, oh, two day craft market? Oh, I'm just reading Gaylene's, oh, that needs to go there. Gaylene's comments there. Now, look, I'm just going to jump in at this point because I keep shuffling. The more I shuffle, the worse it gets. So I'm just going to stick a little bit of tape in the middle behind there. I'm one of these people who won't overthink it too much. If I'm given too much room to overthink, then I change my mind and I fluff around with it. And it's just not, I know I want these bits up here. I'm going to commit to that, but I'm not going to commit to edge to edge taping. I'm just going to commit to that much so then I can I can move it around if I need to okay 
let's go with that. Goes there and there and there. Okay, so let's see what else we've got. I'm feeling let's I'm feeling I need to get some of this deep red in somewhere. And it may just be a a, a strip behind the photo mat. And there's no reason why I can't just tear it. So back tearing, which means that I'm not going to have the white exposed, um, is going to come towards me like that. And then I'll do the same again, just so that I've got a, um, a piece for the other side as well. You have to excuse the state of my hands. Oh, it's a little grotty at the moment. Um, okay, so let's go with a little bit of this under here. Or I could have the tear showing. Let's have the tear showing, hey? And my embellishments aren't, I, I don't even, I haven't even thought about my embellishments yet. I'm just planting the seed for my photos and where some of these bits are going to go. And I'm just going to commit to it. I'm going to commit to that bit of this gorgeous rust colour. Bit of tape on the back. Bam. Something like that. Something like that. Okay, so I'm working out. I'm coming back in this way. Right, this one here. <sighs> Let's have a look. That goes there. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Might have to just go. Oh, okay. Horizontal photo. Oh, okay. Okay. Didn't see that coming. Down there. I might pop that up there. I'm not worried about covering that up because I reckon I do have another piece of that, don't I? Oh, Alright, again, overthinking, shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. Um, look, Leslie, Leslie's just commented saying that she has to plan her scrapbook pages. She can't wing it. Um, yeah, look, I, I tend to agree with you on that. Sometimes I mean, I, I semi-plan mine. I have a little bit of an idea. I knew that I wanted to do a double page. I knew that I wanted to build a layout that could flow across two pages. Um, I quite often work from a, a sketch. I go on to perhaps pagemaps.com.au or pagemaps.com or I go... Um, you know, there's lots of places that you can get inspiration and get a sketch from. I, I use those a lot. I find them to be very, 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 very helpful. Uh, the sketches will certainly help you build your, your page. Um, and then you have a bit of a design to work from. There's plenty of companies that do sketches and I think that they are awesome for helping you to design amazing scrapbook pages that's what they're there for all right so let's stop overthinking this again while I'm doing it can you hear it happening okay just stick it down Natalie Pinterest is my Bible. Yeah, create yourself a Pinterest board about uh, with some sketches on it, or create yourself a, a an ideas board where you can where you can you know turn a layout into your own. Um, Yeah, find one of my layouts that I've done on a different page and, and use that for inspiration. 
that's the whole concept behind me showing you these projects. There we go. That works. That works. That works. And now I want to come over here and work out where my photos are going to go. I've got over here as well. I need to remember that I've got these guys. Oh, sorry about the sniffing. I'm not meaning to sniff. I'm just getting to that. The air's just gotten really cold here in the last 15 minutes here in Adelaide. And I've just started. My antihistamine is just wearing off that I took this morning. I don't want to use the butterflies. It's just a bit pink for me. The rest of this layout is kind of not, not super pink. Uh, I need to start sliding in some other pops of colour around the place. Okay. A bit of blue. And I knew one of these had navy on them. So that's the advantage of having these lovely little pieces that I can shuffle around and play with. If I had a circle punch, I'm going to match my photos on big pieces, maybe. It, it had roses on it. You said to fussy cut them. Oh, okay. Oh, I might have I might have done a, a layout last year with um, AB Studios papers. They were absolutely lovely. I did get some in that I were just really great super easy to use so yes i know what the, the layout that you're talking about um and that was a gorgeous gorgeous layout okay so this is the advantage of not having something stuck down edge to edge i can just slide that little bit of blue in there like that get that bit out of the way for a minute and I need some blue in on this side now for balance. I'm liking putting this. This needs to come up a little higher on this side. Um, Louise, could you pass me a sheet of A4 cardboard out of the box down to, on the floor to your, yeah, that box. No, this box, under the table. You know that we're back with our packages. Oh. Yeah, bit of that. What, what's on my list? Yeah, a bit of that. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Um, I quite often like to use this instead of foam tape for big areas um, and that's not going to cut with that because it's too thick. So this works a treat for sitting underneath your photo mats so that it's nice and even width. Have you finished picking orders, Louise? No. Well, I, unless you want me to you could print. You can print. Yeah, I can talk over the printer. Don't you worry about that. I could talk un talk underwater with a mouthful of marbles. And I don't think the printer's that loud. But in order to get all of your orders out, you're going to need to just pop put up with the printer. Um. Okay. So there we go. Sorry, I just noticed. Someone's sending through some messages at the same time. Um, I find my photos, if I foam, if I mat them up a little bit higher and have them sitting ready to go, I've got a better perspective on how the layout sits and it gives me the ability to slide things in and underneath as well. Um, so you can see here, just doing that. Oop, doesn't fit on that one. And here we are at the let's just commit to it stage. I'm leaving this here because I know that there's a couple of embellishments that I can slide in there. Whoops. Done. And again, done. Beautiful. So today and tomorrow, just while I'm doing this, today we are picking all of your orders and starting to get them all packed and ready to... Um, to get out to you 
And um, thank you, Trevor. Just brought me out a glass of wine. That's a nice big bucket of wine, babe. It's a small glass. It's a small glass. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be fussy. Um, yes. Yeah, so we're going to get all of your orders ready to pack and get out to you. Um, the I did have it. Oh, here it is. Here, I. Um, Louise, sorry, Louise and I check all the orders off and make sure everything is in the bag and then we will be popping them in the post at the end of tomorrow, if not Tuesday, um, possibly even Wednesday at the rate we are going today. Um, but we will certainly endeavour to get everything out to you ASAP. If you haven't paid postage, we will be getting in touch with you about that. Cheers. Oh. All right. Now, so that page is coming together quite nicely. I know that I've got embellishments that I can tuck into the side. I'm just going to pop that aside. Everything's kind of stuck down. Oh, that didn't sound good, Louise. What's that noise? All right. Done, done, done. A bit of cardboard here. Trev's cooking us tea tonight. He's bought me wine. He's bought us wine. Did you bring your glass? Certainly did. Certainly did. He you put your bucket of wine. Is that the normal one we drink? It doesn't taste right, does it? No. I thought it was just me. I don't want to, you know, be fussy or anything, but, but I feel like we can. I feel like we can. I feel like we're entitled to be. All right, so I'm just getting these on for my photo mats. So this is about the only time that I would I would cardboard mount, essentially. Normally I'll foam tape everything. Uh, all my embellishments will be foam taped, of course. But for photos, I like them to sit on a nice solid base. The, as, the, the tape that I'm using, of course, is acid-free. There's no problems with that. Um, and even so, the cardboard is not touching the photograph. So over time, it won't matter too much. Um, a couple of tips if you are printing photos at home though, something that I say just about every time I do a live, and that is photo printing at home can be wonderful and convenient, but it's not, it's not archival. It is not going to last. It's dry printing. And dry printing is going to yellow and fade over time. It's not having the longevity, okay? So if you're wanting to get photos printed, I highly, highly recommend going to Harvey Norman and getting your photos printed. Harvey Norman, I know for a fact in Adelaide, is the only company, uh, is the only place that you can get photos printed that are chemically printed still, like a, as a uh, non, non-commercial printer, like just like a normal retail photo printer. Places like Officeworks and Kmart and Big W are other places that we, people quite often get photos printed. They will do what's called dry printing Dry printing is a, uh, a technique which is very cheap, but the photos are not going to last. So if you are scrapbooking for family history, if you're scrapbooking to pass on your family legacy, for example, then you need to get off there. You need to make sure that the photos are going to last until you are gone. That's pretty much the gist of that. Does that make sense? Um, so yeah, wet printing is what you need to be doing, all right? Not dry printing. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna pop that up here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stick it. So big difference in how, how they're going to work. So um, thank you Val for, sh for, for that little compliment. Um, it's important, people don't tell you this stuff. Uh, 
you automatically go in and, and print your photos and think that they're going to last forever. But even if you have a home printer, like a, a Canon selfie or a Pix, what are they called? Pixmate or something like that. They're not, they're not, they don't have longevity. They don't have that last. If you put it in the sun for three days, just by itself in the sun, it's going to fade. Um, if you put a, a chemically printed photo that goes through the wet chemical process, if you put that in the sun for three days, that's not going to fade. They have a light fastness to them. Uh, in a previous life, I worked in a photography studio. So I'm not making it up. Um, oh, ooh. Stick it. Just stick it. All right, so now we've got a little bit of a base going. We've got a bit of a base for our project. Everything has some stick to it. That's stuck. That's stuck. So now I'm going to start punching out some of these guys here and thinking about how my embellishments are going to work. So that is the, uh, the bits that make the page unique. I've, I've laid down the foundation and now I'm going to think about how to give it a bit of personality. Um, I like these little stamps. The reason I like these little stamps is because they have got colours in it that work with the layout. How good is this? That these guys just pump, they pump right out. Um, so you'll find this paper collection under, in the Graphic 40, not Graphic 45, 49 and Market sex, sex, Section on the website. Um, and they were $30 and they are now reduced down to $24. And looking by the amount of product in this kit, in this in this paper, you could get a fantastic little mini book. You could get a great range of um, a little mini book. You could do a heap of scrapbook albums. You could make some gorgeous cards. Um, or you could pump out a couple of layouts like I'm doing here. I'm going to keep these tickets as well because the tickets are great. And I'll tell you what. This paper couldn't be any better because it just pumps. It just look at that. It just comes straight out of there. Give it a yank. And I'm just going to snip those little butterflies off just so I don't accidentally throw them in the bin. And then this banner I also want to use because that's a gorgeous little embellishment. And there's a little flower there too. Mm -hmm. Radio. slide those off to the side. Let's think about how a couple of these are gonna work. And I do have a whole heap of leaves and borders here as well. So I think I really want to be drink break. I really want to be. That's not our normal wine. No. I don't want to take it back to the barman, but is that your better half inside? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's here, is he? Um. I'm going to drink the wine, even though it's not my normal wine. Because it's... We don't want to sound ungrateful. <laughs> because we don't want to sound ungrateful. That's correct. All right. So sorry that you have to watch me push all of these out. I could have done it all on camera, but I just wanted to show you how easy they are to do and how impressed I was that it worked. Um... So Leslie's just saying you have the Canon selfie that she bought when you locked down last year. The Canon selfie is great. I do have a Canon selfie as well, but the Canon selfie is another one of those photo printers that's fantastic for convenience, um, not great for longevity. Um, everything that I printed on my Canon selfie over the years 
um, has faded and I have replaced the photos with photos that I have had printed at Harvey Norman. I quite often just do sit and do the Harvey Norman online and just arrange pick up at my local Harvey Norman or they post out to you. Um, highly recommend doing that. It makes all of the difference to your photos. If you are scrapbooking for art and not for, um, for, for, for telling your story, then fantastic. You can use whatever you like. Um, I do know there's quite a few scrapbookers out there who pull photos off the internet because they don't want to use their photos of their family. Um, I don't understand it. I don't get that. I, if you have to do something for work or to put on display, then create a layout like I'm doing now where the photos will go later. I don't put, like all of my kits, for example, you don't see the photos in the kits, but then I put the photos on them after I photograph the layout and I put it in because you don't need to see photos of my daughter. Um, so I can just show you exactly where they could go. All right, does that make sense? Sounds a bit weird, but you know, it works for me. All right, so I need to slide, I'm gonna slide that up in, it's got words on it, what's that say? More slender in habit. Really? That's a bit, a bit like me, a bit more slender. Um, <laughs> said no one ever. Uh, okay. So I've got these gorgeous little bits here. I might slide one of those down in there. I have one for this side that can go down the bottom here. This lovely little bit of lace is very cute. Don't quite know what I'm gonna do with that yet. I'll come back to it. I have a banner. Yes, I do have a banner. I love the tickets. I like tickets. Still singing that song, Louise. It's a little thinking music. Bit of thinking music for you while I shuffle some stuff around the paper. I'm going to slide that in there. I'm going to take a ticket and I'm going to. Actually, I'm gonna, I am going to slide that in there. And then I'm going to go like that. And then I'm going to take my stamps. And I'm going to go slide in there because I've got one, two, three, four. There's another stamp. I can go in there. I like that little bird nesty stamp. Can you see the bird nest on that one? Oh, it's upside down. So that's a bit cute. Drink break. All right, so we can see how it's all coming together. Is that even on camera? Oh, there we go. Actually, I'm not. I'm not loving those there. I might just pop those there. Pop one there. I'm really. I didn't stick that on straight, and yes, I know that. But you know what? That's fine, I'm gonna to commit to it. Right, speaking of commit, a little bit of glue. Let's do this. So I'm using the Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive today because it's the one that I had at hand. All right, that's now stuck. I'm going to take this strip here. And now you can start to see the advantage of not taping edge to edge, okay? This is about the time that, you know, I've, I've got that movement and I've got that freedom to slide things around. Um, I really like this edge here and I don't want to cut it up. Oh, I don't want to hide it, so I'm going to cut it off and I'm going to save it for something else. don't know what, but that's okay. And I'm just going to tuck that in like that. It 
it moved when I wasn't looking over here and no one told me. Is it quick dry glue? Yes, because I can't move that. <laughs> um, jumbo roll of foam tape. We got any of these left? Mm. Couple. Couple. This is the big Altenew 33 metres of foam tape and it's got a perfect little height on it so I'm just gonna pop a torn off a bit there and what I want to do is pop a bit under these guys these little tags on the side just because I've also got the leaves to slide in how am I going for time 40 oh, I'm doing okay nobody's complaining yet that it's taking too long go on I dare you <laughs> <laughs> So this little ticket here, bit of this tape on here. That goes there. Um, I'm just gonna tape, glue that to the top. Like that. Super cute little clock. Goes like that. Gosh, what are they doing next door? Banging on drums. Um, okay. Can't get the back off. Use my tape. Hey, Louise, while you're standing there, can you please push some of those out, please, so I can use some more. Right. There we go. I'm starting to build. I'm going to keep my layers off, keep my leaves off for the time being because I want to use those but I need to lay down the rest of my embellishments first this little guy is going to sit nicely at the bottom of my photo here so I'm going to pop just a small amount of glue so it just needs to be a dob dib dib dob dob wasn't a girl scout and that's going to sit on my photo mat my photo will be smaller and sit in there quite nicely. Okay, happy with that, happy with that. Let's just pop a bit of glue on the back of that. Journaling can go, or a date can go up there. Um, then over here, I've still got that guy there that I wanna pop in somewhere. Uh, this guy here, there's a little bit in here. Let's just cut it in half, stick it down. So the, the layout, it all comes together really, really quickly as soon as you get the all the elements on the page. But you've got to get all those elements down first. So you've got to get those, those base elements on first, like your, your background, you get your big pieces on. And establish what your... I'm not using those. <laughs> Please don't give me those little bits. Um, and you need to establish what your... Um, what the plan is. Meaning, are you going to focus on your embellishments and... Straight. There we go. Um, and, you know, so you know what I mean? You want to grab those bits and go, yes, I want that to sit there. I want... That to sit there. I want that to sit in a oh there we go. Okay, here's an idea. I want to take a bit of glue on that side, slide that up here, and then that little off cut that I had there, I'm gonna slide that in underneath that. Okay, so as soon as you plant that that base, so if you buy some embellishments that have got die cuts with them for example it's perfect because the die cuts and the embellishment sheet will be your embellishing you know you, you, once you lay down your papers you can put those bits on after um, pop that onto there do you have a preference with the glue that you use candy's asking Yes, I do, Candy. You will generally see me use two sorts of glues in my live Facebooks. You'll see me use this one here, which is the Nouveau Clear Drying 
glue. And you will also see me use... Do you want to grab one off the shelf, please, Louise? Since I think I've actually used up all mine. You'll also see me use, whoops, this one here, which is the Magic Puzzle Glue. I think they're both around the same price, but um, I am a huge fan of this stuff. I bring it in from Poland. It is not an Australian brand, uh, uh, like something that's easy to get hold of. Um, and it is the bee's knees. The reason I like it is because it is quick drying. Okay, so it's coming together. I've got a little cluster going on over here. I really do need a little cluster going on over here as well. Yeah, I'll do that. Slide, tuck, done. Okay, so we are on the right track. Um, I want to grab a couple of these, a couple more of these little clocks and slide them in as well. And I might just foam tape those up there. Um, yeah, Candy, put it this way. The, the stuff that I sell in the shop, 99% of the product is product that I recommend. It is, it is stuff that I use. I am not a big fan of selling you products that I don't know much about. There's a couple of things, of course, that I haven't used before that I've ordered in for customer orders. Um, but most of the time, if I use it, if I, sorry, if I sell it in my online store, they are a product that I recommend. They're a product that I use. They're a product that I quite, you know, that I like. All right, that, that about sums it up quite nicely. I, I'm not one of these, I'm not a store that, bugger, I'm not a store that will sell you something because it is popular. Um, I would much prefer to give you something that, you know, to have, give you access to something that I use. There's a reason why I use certain things. It's because they're good. All right, does that answer your question? Having worked in a scrapbook shop for 13 years here in Adelaide, I have learnt to, you know, the good products, the bad products, the, um, you know what I mean. All right. So, yeah, so I was saying last night, having, having worked in the industry for a few years, you, you, you get a, a, the gist of what is available on the market. There are certain brand, brands that have got longevity over others. Um, and that's important to me. Um, I was saying that because I work with Lindy's. Lindy's Gang have been in operation for 25 years. Like that speaks, that speaks in absolute volumes absolute volumes 25 years in this industry is a, is fantastic it is great um i am a firm believer in that all right i'm i'm not into companies who whip things up in china cheap um that doesn't float my boat at all okay all right so now i'm just going to tuck i'm going to shove and tuck and I'm not over gluing I'm just gonna because when I stick these in my plastic sleeve in my album who am I kidding when they go into the cardboard box and then one day they'll go into my album because I seem to keep running out of days in the week um, they're not gonna go out they're not gonna fall out they're not gonna go anywhere Oh, you're back, Gaylene. Oh, quick. Gaylene's back. We can stop talking about her. She lost her connection. <laughs> <laughs> I am way funnier in real life, aren't I? Um, okay, so for those of you who do want to come and see me in real life, I'm based in Adelaide. I have a home-based studio here in South Australia. And we welcome visitors by appointment 
it is my home based studio which means that I am you are subject to the dogs you are subject to uh, sometimes my washing on the line you're subject to a little bit of life going on um, and we have a very very comfortable easy environment here so um, you could also come and join us at the retreat which is this month it's in 20 days time if you're feeling like you need to get out and travel then I am your girl come and come and hang out we've got a luxury retreat in Handorf um, happening this month and I can not wait I am so super keen um, later on the, in this week, I'm finalising the last little bit of details to do with the retreat. So um, this weekend has been taking up, of course, a lot of my time and I'm getting a lot of messages from a lot of the ladies who are coming saying, when are you organising table arrangements and all this sort of stuff? Not today, girls. Um, but where's the gap? There's a gap. This needs to be somewhere. Um, so, yeah, we are hanging out for that event this coming weekend. But if you are travelling through Adelaide, please please send me a message. We would love to have you pop in and, and see us. Um, but, yes, it does need to be by appointment because of life. And I do try and take off one day a week. Um, doesn't always happen in fact it hasn't happened for a while it's gonna happen this week I do try and get back to everybody as soon as I possibly can with with messages um, but yeah you know how it goes all right so I'm just adding some finishing touches here you can see it all kind of coming together I'm very grateful that Louise just pumped out whoops that's not stuck down Louise just pu pushed out some of these little embellishments um, I need that nest somewhere. In there. So for the rest of the, the rest of today, uh, Sunday, the what are we today? Second of May. Oh, six days till my birthday. Um, we have got twenty percent off today for. Whoops! A bit too much glue up there. 20% uh, off today for paper, including this collection that I'm working with. And also 20% off of alcohol inks as well. Alcohol ink paper. And alcohol ink paper. Alcohol inks. What else was there? Oh, pattern paper. So um, stock up. Stock up. For sure. Um... All right, and I'm, I think I'm done. I'm going to stop. I have to stick this butterfly on. Oh, I found a blue butterfly. I wonder where the other one is. All right, and now I'm going to stop. I'm done. Okay, so you can see how that process worked. That took me under an hour to create that page. Um, if I wanted to, I could take some of this lace and cover up these seams across here, but I don't think I really need to do that. I'm quite happy with how it looks at the moment. Um, oh, I found another stamp. Uh, so I'm, I'm quite happy with how it looks at the moment. It, sit, it sits really well. Oh, get up, get in there. Uh, so yeah, there's there's plenty of plenty of paper in just this one little pack. So this is what I just use for those of you just tuning in. I have created a double scrapbook page using the 49 and Market Vintage Artistry Collectors Pack in the six by eight, and I haven't even put a dent in the paper. There is still over half the papers left. That's what's left out of the pack. There's still a truckload and I haven't used all the embellishments. Um, 
so we laid down the base we've got our I could have bought that a little bit closer that way in hindsight now that I'm looking at it oh okay I'll do that um so yeah it, it's a gorgeous gorgeous paper collection and I didn't have to do any fussing any fussy cutting because you know how much I hate that um so that's fantastic um, I hope you have it all enjoyed that. If you have any questions, please be patient if I'm not getting back to your messages straight away. Um, it's been a big weekend. There needs to be wine happening very, very, more wine very, very shortly. Um, Louise and I are exhausted. We have had, this is live Facebook number 16 uh, for the weekend and I am done. I am done like a dinner. So I'll take a photo of this in a moment and um, post it and link the products. Um, but thank you all very much for your support and your friendship and uh, your custom over the last four days and being part of the great international craft show uh, number nine. I'm super grateful for that. So thank you very, very much. And I look forward to chatting, you, chatting to you all soon. You can jump online and get 20% off alcohol, ink and paper collections and also jump on and look for the Natalie May Scrapbooking Creative Community on Facebook where you can get pre-orders and share your awesomeness as well. Um, it's a friendly, safe environment where we all lift each other up and that's super important. Thank you guys. I look forward to chatting to you all soon.